Let me know when I'm back. Uh, uh, am I back? Okay, good, I'm back. Sweet, thank you. All right, fantastic. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what happened there. It disconnected for some reason. It said it just popped up a thing said reconnecting. I wasn't dropping frames or anything. Um. Okay. So uh, we toss that in there. Let's add in our next piece, which is inside of our script. We're gonna put in one of these. So I'm just gonna toss this down here. Uh, is that inside a script tag? No. Why is this not? Why did you not give me a script tag here, guys? All right, we're just gonna toss that in there, all nasty like. Don't kill me, guys. This is, we're just trying it. We're just trying it. We're just trying it. I don't know of you. I just want to play with it a little bit. All right. Everybody's gonna shoot me here. Hello, view. Cool. All right. Uh, so, in theory, I've got some object I can modify and mess with that. Uh, so let me get over to the console. What did we call it? It's app. So app dot data app dot data uh, was it underscore data it's just data right <clears throat> uh, what's it called dot message um, oh cool uh, div cha hype all right sweet Okay, so that works. Oh yeah, you're right. The view, the view dev tools. Yes, they mentioned that. Uh, Vue.js dev tools. This one, I believe. This should be the one. And then it like lets me actually like model the data and everything. I think. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be super nice, what does the cow think? Um, I saw them using it, it's like, you know, that way you can, like, click down, like, tree view of your data and everything. It seemed really cool. Do I actually need to restart this to do it? Oh, I probably have to restart Chrome in order for it to work. Uh, oh, close and reopen the dev tools. Ah, there it is. Cool. Nice. Data. Hello, view. Hi there. Works. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so now what I want to do is I want to... I want to... <clears throat> Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I want to cough a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to make this be the ID equals app. Get rid of this one. So now inside of here, um, I want this to have a... Uh, I want this to be a game. And the game I want to be an object that has properties of ID and uh, title right and and for now um, I am just gonna do this to grab a game ID hi there exactly brutal Swede that is exactly what I meant when I said hi there. <clears throat> um, I meant hi there. Okay, uh, that might work. So it's going to interact in the app element. It's going to call data. We're going to have this data in here. That's going to be the game. So we are bound using... Uh, so these values are bound using... Um, uh, 
MVC, uh, not MVC, uh, Razor Pages binding of, of this right now, but I want to change it so we're not doing that anymore. Uh, I want to have it start using view on this side. So what I want to do is I want to make it so that um, we have uh, an initial set of data that comes in from the server side, and then that sets our JavaScript objects. And that, that maybe that's maybe that's actually bound on the server side. Maybe those are separate calls that we make out to the server, and we have a separate controller that returns back some uh, requests. We make you know essentially an API controller that gets us what our games and players are, and then that could be the initial load into some drop-down list that we use. Um, I'm not sure yet. So we're going to have to take a look at that. Uh, so um, we have uh, ASP level for game ID and then input for that value. But we don't want that one. Uh, we want to use the view one. So let's take a look at what view recommends we do with this. So uh, I don't want to do message. I want to do an actual value. I want to do user input. Uh, da, 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 da. Nope, not templates just yet. Um, and actually, I, I could basically model this whole thing. Because the next piece inside of data is players. <coughs> and this is an array. Uh, and it's going to be an array of objects that are our player objects. Um, and so what we're going to do in here is have these. And then our player objects are going to be like um, ID and something. And then uh, I don't think we need anything more than that. Maybe uh, we'll, we'll put in the values like their first name and last name. Uh, oh, whoops, 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 whoops. C-sharp developer. Sorry, guys. C-sharp developer. Um, OK, so those are our two players. Uh, now we need to C sharp HTML and JavaScript in the same file. This is getting yeah, brutal sweet. <laughs> I know, right? Don't worry, we'll try. We'll, we'll fix that. Uh, I'm I, my my intention is not to have the JavaScript be in this file in the long run. So it should get a little bit better when we when we don't do that. Um, okay, so. <clears throat> Uh, where is it? Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Form input bindings, here we go. V model, that's what it is. Okay, so an input with a V model on that. So that's this one on this input. And then uh, that's just off of whatever the data object is. So this would be like game dot i. So this would be Okay. It's basically what we need, but we're going to need to switch this so that uh, C sharp gives us this piece. So uh, I think. Let me read chat here for a second. 
Alright, I was wondering if programming is actually a job that should exist. I mean, it's not really essential to why programmers exist in the first place. You're just saying because... Uh, so, World Wake... Um, uh, I guess I, I wonder what you mean. So, um, programming is a job that exists out of the necessity of the fact that uh, your computer can't just out of the box do everything that you would need it to do and figure that out based on you telling it. Uh, so, and I mean, if you tell it, then that's sort of programming. So that would just mean programming at a higher level. Um, and I do think it is an important job, and a lot of companies need programmers. So that's why, I mean, that's why we have jobs. Um, <clears throat> so this is going to be uh, a game. Do I just, did I just do game title, right? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> uh, okay, so how do I bind that one to that? Selected is that, but I don't want selected to just be a letter like that. Yeah, Brutal Sweet, that's the idea. It's like... There are so many jobs for developers right now because we need to keep building things for computers. Um, there we go. This is the one I wanted. We're going to steal this one. I don't want it to be selected. This is going to be game. V model is game. Uh, and then option in options. Whoops. Uh, we don't have options yet, but we're, we could make a data model that was called games for now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to make... So instead of calling it options, we're going to call it games. And the text is not going to be called text, it's going to be called title. And then the value, right, because option text value, yeah. ID and ID. And then these game titles are going to be... Um, uh, game number one, two, and three. And their IDs are one, two, and three. Okay, so there we go. Uh, <coughs> and Brutal Swede, yes. Uh, going to some kind of school uh, to learn how to program is not a bad idea. Um, but even if you are going through a program, I highly recommend that you do something else to help you learn programming better. Uh, programming at a higher level, I guess I was just thinking about programming as in knowledge of the ins and outs of programming languages, but the big picture probably never truly goes away. Yeah, so the idea of understanding like logic and problem solving is really what programming is about. Uh, the fact that we have to know syntax for all kinds of programming languages, frameworks, tools, etc. is that's the piece that um, doesn't necessarily always have to be there. But yeah, um, so the idea of... Um, being able to express what you want a program to do, that I would say is the important part there. Okay, so... Let's see what we've got out of that. So, um, we now want to bind, not from options in option, we want game in games. Uh, so this, instead of being called game, we're going to call this, uh, game played? What do they do? They, uh, want to do that one. So we'll do game played. Game played. We'll do that. So we're going to bind to... V model is going to be game played. 
this is going to be games and then the individual is going to be called game whoops game in games we are going to bind game.id to the value and then inside of here we're going to say game.title game.title <clears throat> and selected is going to be game played dot title and I think that's what we want to do um, ooh, okay so VFRZ hello welcome uh, and Janiscu says that Blazer is out. I assume that means that there was some kind of an announcement about like an official release of Blazer. Blazer. <coughs> um. Released this an hour ago. So. Blazer 0.2.0 uh, Alpha quality. Oh, okay. So just a new update. Um, but yeah, we could we could take a look at that as well. Uh, we will probably use that on the bot for doing some of our uh, on-screen stuff that we're gonna do. Uh, okay, so now we have a select has these values. So I originally had Democker chosen as the one that we're selecting. Let's take a look at our data. Game played. Three, one, two. Okay. That's fine. Uh, so what we're going to do is... Um, we're going to say game ID played is that. Um, So this will be the game played ID, which is bound to that value. So we're going to say game played ID is what we are binding this to. And then we're going to show game played ID here. So now when I refresh this, um, it should, I think, do that. Nope, it's not going to. Game played ID. Game played ID. Game played ID. Did I not name it that? Game. Game ID played ID. No, no. Game played ID. Game played ID. There we go. That was weird. Okay. So we have that bound. Yes, Blazer is very experimental. Um, I would love to see it succeed. Uh, but it is definitely experimental at this point. Okay, so I got that one. Uh, the next thing that I want to do is I, I think we need a computed property to, to grab that value off of that. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, so, whoops, I meant to go here, pull this up. Um, I mean, hang on one second. I'm a nerd, every once in a while I just gotta rub my eyes. Uh, Oh. Uh, hang on one sec. All right, I'm back. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys didn't miss me too much. Uh, okay, uh, so quick answers to questions that I missed while I was in here. Um, 
So, uh, VFRZ, uh, short answer to your question of is this all in one project or separate project? We're in separate projects. Uh, and the question of DDD, and that is domain-driven design, is usually what people mean when they talk about that, is um, I would say yes, we are following something kind of like domain-driven design, although we're not exactly fitting it because I don't specifically have aggregates and other things like that all configured out because we're not like explicitly following uh, DDD for the sake of following DDD. Uh, but we are trying to structure things pretty well. Uh, so you will actually notice that we have a repository and a set of specifications that we use for uh, accessing the data in our system. Uh, so that would feel familiar to you, uh, VFRZ, if that's what you're wondering about. Um, so, yeah. And uh, Developer Desmond. Uh, yeah, so um, we do have everything separated out, modularized, so uh, that's all there. And Arid Tag is correct. Um, everything we've got is out on Discord, is out on GitHub, and uh, all the code we work on is pushed out there. So every time you see me click uh, the button that pushes out, uh, that code is sent immediately out to GitHub, so you guys can take a look at it if you want. Uh, and you are always welcome to uh, send us pull requests. Uh, and um, the other link that Arid Tag put into chat there is a link to our Discord, and we really do have discussions in our Discord, uh, and people really do talk about this project. So uh, if you are in our Discord, you probably know that our chatbot project gets a lot of discussions, so design discussions and things like that. People talk about the code that, they, that they're working on uh, for the project. People ask questions, so if you want to be involved in any of our stuff, I highly recommend that you join our Discord channel. And uh, if anybody's in here and you are enjoying this, uh, don't forget to hit the follow button so you get notified when our stream goes live. <clears throat> anyway, um, uh, where was I? We are wiring this up. I want to make this a sort of computed property um, to wire up to that. So... Uh, essentially, the idea is I, I want to pull in that value. Uh, selected equal when selected object. <laughs> My object literal bind values. Uh, lazy number to V model with components. Uh, Oh, there's got to be a way to wire this together. Uh... Oh, interesting. Um... Uh, huh. Can I bind the whole game in there? What's it do? I wonder. I'm actually not sure what it's going to do with that. Um... Game, game dot title, and so then I want to say not title. Um, let's have a look. Nope. Okay. Um. Interesting. So it put an empty object in there. Um, oh, that's why. <clears throat> uh, 
Helps if you actually update everything, Brendan. It has a game in it now. Okay, so now I do need to get rid of these. There we go. So now going back to what I thought it should be. Interesting. Gameplay.title isn't working here. <clears throat> but it's clearly updating the value. So it looks like that should be working. Oh, derp, got it. There we go. There we go, hey, total G. Uh, not a whole lot, we're just, uh, we're figuring out Vue.js. I have not used it before, and I'm just kind of fumbling along. <coughs> and uh, yeah, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Stream delay, thank you guys, thank you. Yep. We got it, we got it. Cool. Okay, so we're now able to select that object based on that. So now uh, that piece works. Um, and uh, Total G, we are uh, building a game tracking application. So we want to be able to um, record all the games that we and our friends play and uh, keep track of the results. <clears throat> And right now, uh, we are just fiddling around with Vue.js trying to figure it out. Uh, we are not Vue.js experts by any stretch. Um, uh, adding uh, view model creation page for game records. Sweet. So, uh, funny thing, guys, I'm going to a conference this week, so our Thursday stream is actually going to happen on Friday. Uh, yeah, Total G, don't worry, we got C-Sharp in here, too. Uh, and um, at that conference, I am going to need to uh, give a presentation. Uh, the conference is in Cincinnati, and um, for that presentation, their projectors apparently don't have HDMI cables. The projectors only have VGA cables. Well, I could go DVI to HDMI, and... HDMI kind of feels just like the standard, but apparently they're VGA ones. So uh, a delivery truck just drove up to my house. I just saw it and uh, should have just dropped off the uh, adapter I need to be able to connect VGA. Twitchloff, welcome. Haven't seen you in a little while, but welcome back. Hopefully everyone's Tuesday is going well. <clears throat> okay, so um, we are bound to uh, that object. So that should work. So that's how you pick a game. So now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to change how this game's collection gets here. So that instead of coming in, you know, just as this hard-coded list, we actually get that from data. So we're going to have to do that one. Uh, but before we get to that, I want to start wiring up how the players works. So um, uh, I kind of want to change this to be, um, we're going to say all players for now. Which, yeah, I know that's a nasty way to pull in the data. Um, but, I mean, it's pretty much going to have to happen that way as we hard-code it in for now. Uh, so, IDs will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. <clears throat> and their names are going to be um, John. And the last name is going to be... Um, Smith. Uh, with numbers on them. John, John Cena. John Doe. Alright guys. John Smith. Uh, John Doe. John Cena. Um, uh, John... A uh, fen. Uh, John um, Williams because he's awesome, and um, 
Jacob, uh, Jacob, Jingle, Heim, Jing, Jingle, Jing, Jingle, Jingle. I, I don't know how you spell that. Uh, John, John, John. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> All right, so that, that'll be our list of names. So now we need multi-select. And I'm hoping that Vue.js just does that and has some kind of binding to a list. Uh, so um, mul mul not multi-line, uh, multi-check, not multi-check boxes either. Uh, multi-select maybe really I want when I add one to put it in so maybe we're gonna do this a little differently um, so here's what I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a select like that one hey Henrik <laughs> sure, yeah, you can buy your way onto the list. That's fine. Uh, we'll just add you down. We'll, we'll, we'll put you in here right after John Williams. <clears throat> uh, there we go. Easy enough. Congratulations. You, you made the list. There you go. Congratulations, uh, Twitchloff. Uh, you are now on the player list. <clears throat> See, it's that, it's that easy, folks. You can buy your way in. Speaking of which, uh, Twitchloft, do you know, uh, since you do have bits, uh, and are a Twitch Prime member, uh, did you take advantage of that deal? Is it still running? The, uh, the bits, dis the discounted bits price that they had going? Um, and if you don't, uh, they were running at least for the U.S., and I don't know what the price is in euros and different things, but, uh, yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. Yeah, so for those that don't know, um, if you ever do want to cheer a channel, whether it be mine or C Sharp Fritz's or anybody's, um, the way that you cheer for a channel is you buy some bits from, uh, Twitch, Amazon, we'll say, and, um, they charge you more than what ends up going to the content creator, uh, but they're running a deal right now. Everybody that has Twitch Prime, you can buy 500 bits for, in the U.S., 99 cents. So that's actually $5 um, that you can send to someone, and it costs you a dollar to get it. So it's kind of funny. Um, but if you did want to, uh, you're welcome to send those to me or C-Sharp Fritz. Uh, with, with me, I keep them and I buy stuff for the stream, like this green screen that's behind me. Uh, and with Fritz, he donates them to other charities and stuff. So up to you guys. Uh, but either way, I figured I'd mention it because they do have that deal right now and it's a pretty good one. I, I know I bought them immediately and sent them all out to various streamers yesterday because that's what I do. Um, which, of course, Amazon's just hoping everybody will try buying bits so that they can, uh, hey, that's kind of funny. So it's, uh, one euro fifty-five, uh, what do they call them, euro cents? What, what, what do you guys call them cents? I mean, it's hundredths. Uh, for 500 so that's a pretty good deal um, and I think it varies I, it might be cheaper on the app someone was saying I don't know <clears throat> either way if you do watch any other twitch stuff I would seriously check it out because bits are normally annoyingly expensive so and uh, okay they do call it sense uh, yeah the vat is the only thing <laughs> Kind of funny. You know, guys, you really should send those in and do what Twitchloft did and say, you know, buy your way onto the player list because you could have said a name. But, uh, yeah, awesome. That, that, thank you, everybody. Much appreciated. Um, but, uh, I, to be honest, I would recommend Twitch bits because they're less likely to devalue as quickly as Bitcoin will devalue. Um, Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the next item, uh, and this one is going to be play player IDs. 
And in this one, we're going to have for player player IDs that uh, I think investing in a slot on the player list is a sound investment. Uh, Brutal Swede, you got to tell me a name, otherwise it's going in as Brutal Swede. And which it can, actually. Here you go. Brutal Swede for now. There you go. Congratulations. Uh, let's see. All players, I think is what I called it. Um, player. And this is going to be, uh, he, um, players, I think. I'm not sure. We're going to say selected player. And you'll see why I'm doing selected player right now. Um, first name. And then this is going to be... Uh... Actually, how do I put this in here? Do I do it like this, or do I do them as separate ones? I don't actually know. We'll find out in a second. We'll look and see how that works. <laughs> Brutal sweet. Okay, yeah, that works. Whatever works, man. Whatever works. There's... Some, some people want to go by different names. Okay, so I borked something. Clearly. Borked. Uh, yeah, so... Wait, no, no, not that one. That one. There we go. I clicked the wrong button then. Uh, ASP label for player records. Select V-model for selected player. All players. Player. Bind. Player. Game records. Player ID. Selected. Selected player. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put that on there. We're gonna see what's happening on that page now. Because <clears throat> for some reason it's not loading right now, and I would like to know why. What did I mess up? Two players with ID six. Ah, oh, yeah, that'd do it. I assume it was about to yell at me about that. That's still what's getting me, or is there a new thing getting me? Alright, there's a new thing getting me. Cannot evaluate first name of undefined. Did I use game somewhere? Yes, I did. Right here. Game. I meant to use player. At least I figured out why it blew up. Okay. That ought to fix it. There we go. And we're back in business, everybody. Uh, John. 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 And I'm going to need to make nice templates for this at some point. Um, John Doe, playing that game. Okay. Alright, so that's how we're going to select who they who they are. <laughs> Arid Tag, you're a John. Sorry about that. Uh, I, John is such a rare name uh, that, you know... I figured that we, there was no way we would have one, and there's definitely not, like, equivalents in almost every language. There's no, like, you know, there's definitely not, like, Johan, or, you know, or, like, Jan, or Juan, or any other 
similar names. So I, I'm surprised by the confusion. That was a joke. I'm not surprised at all. Okay, so we have selected that. And then um, when we have a selected player, uh, I want to put in a checkbox <clears throat> and a button. So let's add a checkbox and a button. Yes, I want to put in a checkbox. Okay, so... Actually, maybe we need a button or something? I don't know. Button. Um, add player. Let's see what it looks like when I put that in there. So here's what I'm thinking for the for the UI on this. I'm thinking that uh, you pick the player and then we say add player and then that you know adds them to a list. So when you click add player, it does a thing with them, puts them in the set, or maybe picking them in the list adds them to the set. And then we add a remove for them. <clears throat> um, Um, so hang on, so I'm going to Google that really quickly because someone has my answer for me. Uh, view JS add item to list from select. Append new item to list. Uh, well, yeah, I could do that, but that's not what I want to do. I want to do it like in response to a thingy. Um, isn't there like a just nice way to bind it? No, no, no. I just want to. I just want to bind. I just. I, I want to binding because I know I can just react to an on select and just add the new item from that list rendering uh, okay okay uh-huh uh-huh Here we go. Okay, here's the example we needed. Uh, okay, so um, we'll add a method. <clears throat> Except ours isn't going to be an add a new to do, it's going to be um, add a player. So methods add new player. It's a function. We're gonna say this dot um, players <coughs> players. We're gonna push on. Um, selected player this is going to be an array uh, selected player is going to be set back to nothing <clears throat> um, it's 
selected player. Dun, uh, uh, actually, why don't I just push on select? Can I just push on? Uh, dot ID. We're gonna do that, and then uh, did I did I seriously? Yes, I did. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. That is my C sharpness coming out there. Selected player, first name, and last name. Because of course I Pascal cased it. Okay, I am going to leave my end comma off of that. <clears throat> Despite the fact that I really like doing it that way in C Sharp. I like leaving a trailing comma on the end of a list. And it's quite nice. Uh, okay. Uh, so that's the to-dos that they do. The next to-do ID we aren't using. Um, that's the text which they're binding onto that object. Oh, and they did a view component for that. That actually sounds fun. Let's let's do that. Can I can I do this? Uh, instead of calling it a to-do item, um, eh, all right, I'm not going to do it yet. We'll figure out view components in a minute. Um, okay, so they did an input, and then they did a list of uh, view components. It did that, which I'm not going to be able to do view components because I didn't make my view component yet, but I do want to make a list of my players. <clears throat> so instead of a span here, I'm going to have that. And then I am going, so I need to do the same kind of binding here. I think that I did there, so I need list binding. I'm going to open up a new list view here so I can just see the default binding of this. Yeah, so here's what I want to do, because I, I need to go simpler than they did because I'm not making a view component just yet. So item in items, and this is going to be um, players. Um, I'm not sure if I can get away with calling that by the same name. I guess I'm about to find out, huh? Uh, welcome, Johnny B. Good, I'm guessing. JB Good? That'd be hilarious if that's actually what it means. Uh, but thank you for following. Hopefully you're enjoying the stream. Uh, so for player and players... Okay, so that is going to be our players list. Add new players is going to trigger this pushing on a new player, and we're going to reset the selected player when we do that. Um, in order to make this happen, um, what we're going to need to do is um, make sure that that triggers when we do that. So... <clears throat> It did v on and then key up dot enter, but we don't want to do that. We want to do like a v on select, something like that. So I'm going to do this on our select here. Uh, I don't want to do key up, but I just wanted to put that in here. Um, Uh, hey, it really was Johnny B. Good. Awesome. And yeah, uh, Franklin, that is the link to our GitHub. If anybody does want to contribute, all of our stuff is open source and available on GitHub, so you can work on it there. Um, we accept pull requests. If you want to mention issues, make suggestions, feature requests, anything like that, 
Uh, Craigsify, going to need to come back and watch the video from the start to finish. I had a lot of problems integrating Vue into .NET previously. Yeah, Craigsify, I think it's going to be a little tricky, um, but we're going to figure it out on stream. Um, I might do some stuff off stream because uh, there is going to be some head banging. Uh, and at some point I might... Uh, so I wanted to start from zero, not knowing how Vue.js worked, and try to just shove it in myself from the documentation because you never get the chance to look at things... Uh, from a new person's perspective twice because if i invited someone on uh, dev chatter who already knew Vue.js, we wouldn't be able to get the authenticity of like trying it ourselves and just seeing what happens so you can't do that once you've had an expert tell you how to do it um, at some point i am going to invite someone on who knows Vue.js better than <laughs> better than i do because uh, you know this is my first time using it um, but we'll invite someone on and hopefully they'll tell us what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong. But I wanted to try it from this perspective first, because this is really how you learn, you know, how it works. Uh, if someone just comes in and tells you everything, you don't really get to try it. So hopefully you guys are all enjoying trying it. Uh, so I don't want to do V on key up. I want to do um, like a V on selection or something. And it's not going to make, it's not going to tell me those. Um, view JS V on. There we go. Uh, event handling V uh, on. Not click. Um. Um, view JS select list event. Ah, there we go. On change. I think that'll be the one we want. Uh, and it might trigger when we when we change the value of selected. <clears throat> uh, we don't want to call on change. We don't want to call change. We want to call add new player. Uh, choose player. Let's give it a shot. Might not work, but nope, 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 nope. I must have clicked a button and it wants to now submit form stuff for me. So there's how we select that, and then let's choose some, someone from the list. Oh man, look at that guys, look at that. Oh yeah. Oh sweet. Yes. Look at that, look at that. That was perfect. That did exactly what we needed. Uh, one sec guys, I'll be right back.
Hey, I'm back, everybody. Hopefully you didn't miss me too much. <clears throat> okay, so what did I miss in chat? Uh, try to push the whole selected player onto the player list. Yeah, I might be able to. Um, <coughs> Trevo, um, uh, let's see. So um, the application we are building is a game tracker. Yep, I am back. Uh, <clears throat> uh, we'll give that a shot. This is a program for uh, tracking... Um, how to phrase this. Um, any games you play with your friends? So if you and I play a game, I might want to record it. Who won, who taught, what game we played... That sort of thing. All right, let's give this a try. Rip. Is that the only change I'm making here? Yep. So it didn't work with that. That's weird. <clears throat> yeah. Very strange. Yeah. <clears throat> so, anyway. Um, <clears throat> sorry about disappearing for a second there, everybody. Um... There was a UPS truck that showed up at my house and uh, was going to just leave a note instead of actually delivering the package. I was like, I better run and go get that so that I don't have to wait days for it to show up. Uh, okay, so we now have a list of selected players. I don't like the idea of them just being like that. <clears throat> I would like it if they included checkboxes. So, what I'm going to do is pull this up. I don't want, just want list, so this list rendering, we'll see here, uh, included a button for removal, but I want to have a checkbox. Uh, you guys can hear me, right? Or is Async Awake just that delayed that he's answering the question I thought I already answered? But maybe. Either way, good job, Async Awake. Appreciate the uh, uh, answering of the question in case I missed it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we just started this, like, on stream today, Trevo. Uh, so we will be adding to that readme at some point. But yeah, there's nothing on this at this point. Um, I will be adding to that eventually. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, we're doing the coding. No one wants to see me write a readme on stream. Uh, that that might be mildly interesting, but a whole thing, uh, not so much. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, kind of a board game companion app that you can use. Board game pen and paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yep. And I don't know what super wake is there, Janiscu. Um. Okay. So. This is the players that are in the game. I want to have a checkbox now. <clears throat> checkbox. What is this? I want to play a board game with John Cena. That would be it. Sounds... <laughs> yeah, you play one with Chewbacca. You let the Wookiee win. Or you could play one with Chuck Norris. You let Chuck Norris win, too. Okay, so... Uh, this is not exactly a selected player, but here's what we're going to do. Um, they're going to get pushed on with an object that is... Uh, one, and we're going to say false, and then we're going to say taught, 
and uh, and actually I'm going to fix these false. So they're going to push on as that. And what I when I said I was going to fix something, what I mean is this. Um, and this is I know going to break everything, but someone is going to eventually kill me for not doing that. Um, because this is JavaScript, and I don't know what I was thinking. <clears throat> uh, last name. Let's replace all those in the current document. Um, and then... Trace all those in the current document. Uh, and I think I hopefully got them all. Anything coming from C sharp is gonna start with a capital because it's Pascal case in C sharp and everything in JavaScript is gonna start with a lowercase and be camel cased. Um, <clears throat> okay, I think I got it, everybody. I think I got it. Let's just make sure everything's still working. It's still working. Fantabulous. Uh, so now, if we take a look at the checkboxes, um, I can now add a checkbox. for that value. The input element represents a data temperature, blah, 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 blah. I'm not sure why that's whining, but. Type checkbox ID. Um, Does it need an ID? Trevo, thanks. Thank you for stopping by. Have a good one. Input checkbox ID. Uh, ID could be their name, but it uh, also could be like the player ID or something like that. <clears throat> uh, we're going to say player dot one. Rip. Okay, so it doesn't like that thing. Um, oh, because I'm putting it in the wrong spot. My bad. I meant to put it down here. There we go. That's why it was complaining. Alright, so... There we go. <clears throat> Alright, that's not bad. Uh, the Mad Dave, uh, welcome. Thanks for following. Hopefully everybody's enjoying the stream. Uh, so we put we put in a text box here. We can make that happen. Um, and then our next one, we're gonna put in another one for now, and this will be the taunt one. And I know it doesn't look pretty yet. It doesn't look pretty. It doesn't need to look pretty. So we choose the game that we're gonna play. And then we have one in taut, and those be based on various values. I'm going to pull up our Vue.js. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about the coughing, everybody. <coughs> okay. Uh, so I don't need that list open. <coughs> players. I'm going to add a couple more players. John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith. So these are our players, one and taunt. 
Oh, whoops. Uh, that is my bad. T. W. Player zero. Oh yeah, I don't have IDs on them yet, Janiscu. Uh, that is dev console for, uh, yeah, there is a view, yep. Uh, so I'm using Vue.js, and so that's the Vue dev tools plugin. Um, and it lets me see all the data, so <clears throat> you can see when I picked that, that, that object suddenly got a value, and then the players list right now you'll see is empty, but when I add a player, it has an object in it. And there's the value of it. Now that should be nice. Perfect. So it is changing based on that. I need to get rid of my add player button. Why do I still have that there? So yeah, <clears throat> that is very nice. I like that a lot. Um, why is my phone telling me about an event that's going on right now? I shouldn't have any events going on right now. Not sure. Anyway. So. Alright. Cool. So that works. I'm a big fan of that. Let's get this committed right now. I know we're just sort of hacking things together. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and commit these. <coughs> uh, so. Um, adding. Uh, view. View. Controls to the game records page, and we're just we're just working through it, figuring out how to make Vue.js work. Um, and it's actually it's actually pretty nice. It's surprisingly easy to just fiddle into place. Um, and if you do want to see any of the code we're working on, the Mad Dave, you can check it out on GitHub. It's GitHub.com/devchatter. Everything we work on in this channel ends up there. Um, there we go. Uh, so, let's refresh this page. Good old Jonathan. Alright, so then when I click create, we're going to want to send this somewhere. <coughs> so right now, that is wired up to be... Uh, Essentially to the um, index CSHTML we have here, but that doesn't really do anything for us, so we want to change this. Um, so we could either make something that binds here, or we could do a controller for it. Either one would be fine. And Ya uh, uh, Ya or Ja Kuboja or Kuboya. Uh, welcome, thank you for following. Uh, the bot caught you before Streamlabs did, so thank you. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of that for now. Um, I don't think I need that property binding there. <clears throat> I'm going to do a rebuild here. Yeah, I'm not really doing that validation anyway, so I'm going to get rid of that. Let's get rid of all these validators. So... Uh, let's see, so control label. This is going to be um, game played. And this is going to be um, players in game. See what that looks like when I do this change. Game played. Uh, there we go. Players in game. All right. And I think from CSS we can fix some of these so that they work a little nicer. And then when I click the create button, we're going to have to make that actually do something logical. <coughs> um, so probably not a submit. 
but we'll see. Uh, controllers. <coughs> um, hang on. We might be able to do this from the page. Um, so we're going to say Razor Page Custom uh, Endpoint. Custom. Parameter binding. That might be what we wanted. Uh, wait, this isn't a razor page. You think I can just put in the put in the class and get it to just call it and work? I might be able to. Here's what we're gonna try. We're gonna do this. We're gonna make a create method. Because I think we can get away with it. Let me show you why. <clears throat> um on well on post. We're gonna do an on post. And we'll see what we get out of it. Yeah. Huh. Not sure if we're going to be able to do this or not. I kind of want to put that in there and just see if it recognizes it. Um, I'm not sure if Razor Pages will let me do it. Um, I don't know if you guys see what I'm doing here, but I'm thinking that it might let me do this. Um, Uh, I have not. I'm gonna drop a breakpoint there. We're gonna see what happens when I call this. Now I don't think it's actually gonna work right because I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I my I'm not bound to the right models or anything, so it shouldn't send it up. But I just want to make sure that it calls that method when I do it. Um, it calls it, and this came up, and it is just empty. So it makes me wonder, I should be able to do it then. If I send a post to this URL, <coughs> I should be able to send up the object. So... Um, I'm going to make this object in JavaScript, and we'll take a look at what we get. Uh, whoops. So I think, I think it should be able to get this. Um, so we're going to make an object. I'm going to put it inside the script tag for now. And it is going to be game ID. Um, player IDs
Whoops. Uh, hang on. I'm smoking something there for a second there, guys. There we go. <coughs> uh, winner IDs. And then teacher IDs. And then that should be what we're trying to send up. that to be is that the object it has that it's got that it's got teacher IDs winner IDs player IDs <clears throat> okay I think that's our object um, think Okay, uh, view JS post data. I wonder if it's got anything fancy with this. Posting data from view JS. Uh, I don't care whether it's going to PHP or where it's going. Page. What the? That's interesting. Page view. Post. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, oh, actually, yeah. No, 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 that's exactly what I need. Okay, so making a method inside of there. <clears throat> and then we could just do a jQuery Ajax call and just do our post out of there. Pass in our data given that. So, okay. So I will make, so we have that method. Our next method will be um, record Game, uh, game played. <clears throat> this will be a function, and uh, elk. Uh, I will go ahead and say full time's a bit of a stretch, but I stream more than eight hours a week, so uh, our stream usually does like. I don't know, 10 hours a week, probably something like that. So fairly regular. Um, so, yep. Why, what's up? Uh, you will find lots of regular uh, content, C Sharp. Uh, most of what I uh, I get cannot update database. The login failed when running the app. I'm not. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, Twitch Loft, which app are you running? This one. Twitch Loft, if you're running this program and not the bot, um, you need to call the. You need to open up your package manager console. So go to tools. Go to NuGet package manager. Go to package manager console and type update database. Yeah, so see this 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 text here I've got highlighted. It's kind of small. Um, update database, uh, which actually I will paste that in here in case you can't see it. Um, whoops, nope. 
update database. Uh, you just need to do that, and then that should get you your database. Uh, yeah, ELK. Uh, uh, so I am an independent uh, consultant, so I work for various clients. And um, basically, uh, there are hours of my day that I am billing to clients, and then there are hours of my day that I am spending streaming. And yes, I am in the U.S., and it is during my normal daytime. Uh, we were doing a special stream today, so normally I'd be working with a client um, during part of the day, uh, but uh, I basically took a few hours from the client today and uh, extended our stream because we were starting a new project and I didn't want to do just a two-hour stream starting this. I wanted to get us a better jump start onto it, so that's why I'm going a little bit longer. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I do mentoring and training for most of my clients. Uh, I even do some just regular development work. So, um, yeah. So speaking of which, if anybody ever does, uh, I, I am actually a hireable person. So if you had a project you wanted me to work on, feel free to reach out because that is also a thing I do. Uh, so, okay. So window.server.home, I'm getting URL. So I don't want that one. I want, um, uh, do, 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 do. It is game records. Game records index. And I don't want to do a get, I want to do a post. <coughs> um, we'll log the response. We'll do that. Um, I want to send up uh, data with that, and I can never remember the syntax for this. Uh, jQuery, a, a jQuery, Ajax post. Please give me the syntax. Uh, although technically I'm using an Ajax call, so I should use this one, and it's like a data object or something like that. data and it's just an object. It is plain object or string or array. Yeah, okay. I can give it that. So we're gonna say data and our data in this payload is going to be um, an object it happens to be this object, I think. Um, we're going to put it in here. And yeah, I'm a C-sharp dev, not a JavaScript dev. Um, okay, awesome, Twitchloff. I figured that was all that needed to happen. Um, <clears throat> the... Uh, yeah, it's one of those, we, we put that as a separate step and we don't have anything in our readme telling you yet uh, that that's the step you have to take in order to get things running. Uh, that was once a step for the dev chatter bot also if you did want to try running our chat bot. Uh, but that one does have some instructions in the readme for how to set it up because you do need to configure some accounts and get some developer IDs to be able to connect the bot to Twitch. Uh, so there are some steps that you need to do for that one. Uh, Brave Cobra 2 asks, any particular reason why you chose uh, Vue.js here over Angular? Uh, and the short answer to that one is, um, Vue.js looked kind of cool, so I was like, let's try Vue.js and give it a shot. Uh, I've seen Angular before, um, but I haven't really messed with Vue.js, and I saw a little bit about it, and I said, hey, I actually like the syntax. I like the way that works. Uh, so I figured, why not give Vue.js a try? Um, and uh, my intention is we're going to mess around with Vue.js a little bit, figure it out a little bit on our own, and uh, get the stumbling bo blocks that, you know, and, and because of that, you know, we're going to hit the stumbling blocks that someone that isn't familiar with it is going to run into. Uh, but then I'm probably going to reach out online and uh, find someone to hop on, pair program with me. I'll put them up in the top right corner up there uh, and uh, pair program with them at some point. Um, so that is the plan. So game played dot ID is what we're going to put in here. So game played dot ID. 
And then our players is going to be the players collection, actually. But we just want the winners. We want the winners. Um, uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, um, so this is like, um, players dot, um, uh, I forget how to do a select, um, filter, um, one and then I need to still do a select because I want their ID yeah sorry C sharp dev trying to remember how to do things uh, anybody say anything interesting in chat map yes thank you that's the word um, Uh, the things that you forget when you're a C sharp dev. I say select, you guys say map. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, uh, we said I wanted ID, right? Um, this one is players dot map ID. Man, I tell you, I can't type today, guys. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, Twitch Live, why did your message get... Uh, oh, uh... Yeah, I saw something about that, um... Twitch Love. I was gonna look at, uh, Axios. Um, I saw something that... And, uh, I, I saw something about that. I was gonna check the same thing, uh, because it looked really cool. Um... <clears throat> Someone specifically said they were doing it with Razor Pages, uh, and so I do want to take a look at that. But for now, we're just gonna, you know, hack this in here and see what we get. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so um. V, what was it, V on? It's V on, right? Yeah. It's something like that. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Not first, first. Oh, good job, Sky Hoshi. Welcome, you're here. <clears throat> Congratulations, Sky Hoshi. You made it. Uh, Janisku, ASP not... Janisku ASP.NET 2. And, and you should say core. Aspect Core 2.1 has some amazing features in it, and it's really annoying that we don't have it yet. And that is probably yelling at me because that needs to expand, because it's not allowed to be an empty tag like that. And um, we're going to call this create. Um, I'm not sure what that's going to look like when we do this, but we're going to take a look. Um, let's see if this just bombs all to hell or whether it looks like it's going to work. All right, um, pick a game, pick some people. Uh, let's watch the network tab for a second. Let's see what happens. So that did something. What it did, I have no idea, because I didn't, uh, I didn't debug that for the time. 
so here's what we're going to do. I am going to debug this because I want to catch that breakpoint. Uh, that is to make the ECB request from the back end of some external hex image in front of <clears throat> yes, uh, you guys are talking about different things. That is correct. Um, the yeah, dang it, it's opening this one. That's annoying. Okay, so um, you're talking about two different things. Axios is what you would use from JavaScript to be able to talk to the back end uh, C sharp code. And uh, all the, the HTTP client factory, uh, I think, is talking about um, <laughs> No, no, it's all right, Brave Cobra. Everybody likes different syntaxes for different things. We're just trying Vue.js, um, you know, as just a let's give it a shot. We're not, we're not even, we're, we're not set on anything anyway. Um, uh, I mean, I could tell you that there are plenty of programming languages where I see the code that gets written in certain types of languages, and it makes me fall in love with C-sharp all over again, too. Uh, so those guys won, and John Smith taught us the game. Nope. All right. Well, it didn't, didn't actually send it. Um... Uh, value is create uh, a record game. Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, no, everybody's allowed to have an opinion on all these things. Um, <clears throat> I know people that don't like uh, Angular. I know people that like React. I mean, everybody's got their own thing. Yeah, so... I, I always see Angular and React, and uh, I, I thought Vue would be kind of a fun one to try. Uh, okay, so, and yeah, the code's not all that clean. As I said, we're just kind of hacking stuff together. I'm actually just going to hard code this in here for now. Just to make sure that that <coughs> is not part of the problem. So we're, we want to post to that URL uh, when we call that. <coughs> yeah, Captain Honeydew. Um, that's something we can look at at some point, certainly. We can uh, we can take a look and see how Angular or React or anything else fits in here too. <coughs> so no, let's take a look. Network tab, click, 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 click. It is not actually doing the on click. Uh, so I apparently didn't wire up our view correctly. Um, let's see, view post. No, not blog post. That's not the one I want. Yeah, so <clears throat> what people are alluding to uh, in there is that actually when you create new projects, uh, you can actually choose like Angular and React projects. That's how first class citizen-y these are in, uh, <clears throat> in .NET now. 
Uh, open that back up. <coughs> yeah, so... Modularity can be a good thing. Um, not sure... The, and this and the setup we've got here isn't ideal. I mean, some of these pieces would be really should be inside of the layout or something like that. <clears throat> Game record. Nope. Doesn't call it. Bummer. Ah, and it's tempting to go back to a controller, too, uh, for this piece, just because it is a little weird. Alright, let me make sure I'm not doing anything stupid here. I'm going to comment this thing out. I'm just going to have this console right line when we do it. And by right line, I mean log. Okay. And then we'll look at that and make sure I didn't mess up anything there. Uh, let's see, game record. This. Pull up the console. Okay, so we really are calling that. Now let's make sure that I didn't mess up my post. Um, yes, guys, everybody's got opinions on how all these things work. Uh, we don't. We none of us agree on exactly what any of this stuff should look like. So we're gonna do a. We're going to explicitly do a post instead of doing an Ajax call. We're going to do a post, which, yes, I know that one's just an alias for the other. We're going to do this. We're going to make it super clear for anybody that's looking at it. The URL that we're going to hit is going to be this one. Then we're going to have six. We're going to have our data as our next parameter. <coughs> And there's our success function. And then let's nuke the rest of this garbage for now. Uh, whoops, comma. Okay. So there's data. There's our function. Let's see, did we miss anything? Success, data type. I don't need to pass the data type. I could tell it, but I'm not going to just yet. And it's possible that I need to stringify that or something like that. Okay. Let's go ahead and run that again. Just make sure I'm not crazy. Game played is not defined. Uh, yep, that would cause a problem. Game played. Oh, whoops. That's why they're this. This dot... Uh, did someone tell me that? Uh, uh, should you mix should you mix data building with the post argument? Uh, no, I shouldn't. Um, but I did it anyway. Uh, 
because uh, I'm just kind of hacking this together for now. Hey, Sink Awake says, all right, uh, fellow friends of the over-enthusiastic T-Rex, gotta go night-night, see you next stream. Yeah, hey, Sink Awake, no problem. Thank you for uh, being here today. Always appreciated. Uh, you are a fun part of the chat. <clears throat> As many people are, actually. We like having you all here. Devcha hype. Yay, Devcha hype. All right. And no problem, Async Awake. Uh, glad you enjoyed the stream today. So we're going to toss in a few of these. Check some boxes. And a 400. That's not bad. <clears throat> that is better than what we were getting. All right, I'm gonna debug this now, because I think we're getting closer. All right, I have a breakpoint there. Game record, click some buttons, check some boxes. Nope, not quite. All right, we'll go back to this. Uh, I'm going to pull up Vue.js dev tools. <clears throat> I'm click a few of these things. Why aren't I seeing the events here? Shouldn't I be seeing its events when I'm picking these? I thought that fired based on events. annoying either way uh, I am actually a little bit over on time for how long I was planning on running today so I think I'm gonna actually wrap it here uh, let's go ahead and commit what we've got <coughs> uh, working on uh, work in progress uh, getting data together or posting uh, so <coughs> Give a little bit of a status update, everybody. Yeah, uh, what? The stream is... Oh, because it counts when I when I disconnected. So it thinks this is two separate streams. Uh, it's a 400, not a 404. Uh, Brave Cobra. Um, the... Yeah, uh, we've been streaming for about four and a half hours in total. Uh, a little bit longer, actually. <coughs> but... Um, I was shooting for probably about a four and a half hour stream. Didn't want to go all the way to five hours, but um, uh, don't worry, we will be continuing this project. So, as many of you know, today is Tuesday, and uh, on Tuesdays uh, we wear pink. No, 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 uh, no, no. That's wait. That's not correct. That's not correct. Never mind. Um, on Tuesdays we uh, do our stream normally at a different time. Uh, so I will go ahead and pull that up so you guys can see it. It's it's on our, so if you're on the Twitch application, it's down below in a panel. You can see what our schedule is, but you can also go to github.com slash devchatter and go to our stream info page. So I will send a link out in the chat. Um, and if you go here, you can take a look and we have information about our streams. So you'll see that today's stream is right here. We're building our game tracking app and that's the information about today's stream. Uh, I have not decided what we're doing on Friday yet. 
Uh, but Thursday's stream is cancelled. Normally we do Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, as you can see right here in our regular schedule. Um, on Thursdays we normally start at noon, but we started today at noon. Uh, and then on Thursdays, uh, we normally start at noon and go for a couple of hours. Um, so it's normally our early stream. But I'm going to be speaking at a conference. I'll be in Cincinnati for Momentum Dev Conference. And uh, because of that, I have moved our Thursday stream to Friday. Uh, so the test we take each Monday will now take place on Friday before or, or something before even I don't know. Uh, I was quoting a movie there for people that didn't realize. Um, so uh, we're going to do Friday. Uh, I'm not sure. Haven't decided yet if we're going to continue on this one or if we're going to go back to our Dev Chatter bot. Uh, the bot is actually in chat and it does a lot more things than people probably realize that it does, uh, and it's very cool. Uh, so if you do want to check it out, you can check that out on our GitHub. Uh, but you can also talk to it in the channel here. Um, on Saturday, uh, we will be doing a regular stream as normal. So, uh, we do four streams a week. Usually a stream is about two hours long, but, um, I often run them late. Uh, so, like, I don't start them late. I start them on time. But, uh, uh, we'll go for sometimes two and a half hours, three hours. Uh, and I think our longest stream was, like, five and a half hours. Uh... And uh, the breakpoint was just inside of a uh, an on post method inside of the Razor Pages page model object. Uh, and Sky Hoshi, you are correct. That is a uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory reference. Uh, we will take the test on the material before we've learned it. <laughs> you got it. Uh, that is exactly what I was referencing. Um, gl glad you guys liked that. Uh, I thought it was a little bit weird, but um, anyway, uh, yeah, so um, I wanted to thank everybody that uh, that showed up today, chatted, and participated in the stream in any way at all, uh, so if you were here, if you followed, uh, I want to thank you. We had a bunch of new followers today. Uh, I am not going to go through the, uh, and thank everybody that followed again, because a lot of those names are hard to pronounce. Um, hey, wow, Twitchloff, you hadn't followed yet. Well, welcome. Thank you for following. Um, I'm kind of surprised. Did you unfollow and then refollow? Anyway, uh, what I wanted to say was um, I wanted to thank all the people that cheered today. Uh, we got cheers from Twitchloft, Brutal Swede, uh, Wampa TV, and Brutal Swede again. So uh, thank you all for that. Um, and we, I know we got a sub at some point, didn't we? Or was that yesterday? Someone subbed. Wampa TV subbed with a with a Prime sub. So. Uh, um, yeah, uh, if you haven't yet and you want to get notified the next time we go live, uh, which keep in mind that I am way more a C-sharp dev than, than I am a JavaScript dev, so while I fumble around in the JavaScript, uh, I don't fumble around when we're in C-sharp. Uh, so, um, I at least have that. And, uh, so when we're on our dev chatter chatbot, you'll see much more interesting stuff as we've been, uh, making that thing, uh, play games with us. Uh, so it, it does some of that in chat, and it's quite fun. Uh, so if you haven't yet, do click that follow button like Twitchloft did, and you can get notified when we go live. Um, and that is quite useful, because then you can be here at the beginning and not miss the setup. Because a lot of people show up and they're like, Hey, what are we doing? What is this thing? And uh, if you get there for the setup, you will know exactly what we're doing. Um, and uh, additionally, if you do want to do any contributions to the project... Uh, I know I've said this a few times, but it is out on GitHub. It's open source. You can contribute. You can make suggestions uh, and things like that. So inside the game tracker, someone already has an issue open. Uh, and there you go. Board, link to Board Game Geek from the games page. We absolutely should have that. So Arid Tag got us a suggestion. Uh, you can do pull requests as well, and we will start accepting those. Game Tracker doesn't have much traffic yet because we started it today. Uh, but our dev chatter chatbot, uh, this project does actually get a decent amount of traffic. You'll notice there are a ton of issues in here uh, that people have put in. And most of these are feature suggestions uh, that people want to have in here, not actually bugs. Uh, but there are a few of those as well. And then we also get pull requests. And everybody that... Um... Hey! Uh, Jabui or Jaboy? Uh... Not sure how you pronounce that, but if I messed it up, tell me, and I'll pronounce it better the next time, but thank you for following. 
what I was going to say is that if you are interested in doing any contributions and you are worried you think it's going to be difficult, anything like that, uh, first off, I'll tell you it's not and will help you along the way. Uh, but the second thing I'll tell you, and I'm not saying it's not scary because it might be scary the first time you make a, a contribution to a project, but I will also tell you that we're going to be nice about it. And then the next thing is, uh, as Aurora Boris pointed out, uh, if you go to our Discord, uh, we really do actually talk on that Discord. It is not a silent place. Um, if you uh, join our Discord, uh, you will find that we actually have discussions inside there uh, with people, and um, we talk about our project that we're working on. So if you check out the chatbot channel inside of our Discord, you will see that there are people talking about different implementations of things, uh, what code they're working on, and stuff like that. So there is actually discussion uh, that takes place there. So if you are interested in working on the project, you can hop in there and you can talk to us while we're not on stream and uh, suggest what you uh, want to do in there. And someone asked me a long time ago uh, on the stream whether I, it was like EL, uh, yeah, ELK or something like that, asked if I was a full-time streamer. I would not complain about being a full-time streamer, but um, I will also tell you that that is highly unlikely to happen. I'm going to probably continue doing independent consulting for a variety of reasons. Um, first off being that independent consulting tends to pay better than streaming. Um, since I make way less than minimum wage on streaming, but it's fun, so I do streaming. Um, but uh, anyway, um, I noticed that a bunch of people are joining the Discord, so uh, thank you for that. Uh, we will have good discussions in there. And um, is there anything else I forgot to mention that anybody can think of that I should say? Um, oh, um, I've been putting... Uh, our old videos have been creating an archive on YouTube, so they are just the raw Twitch streams, so don't expect like curated stuff, but we have a YouTube channel, you can subscribe to that if you want to find our old videos, because Twitch doesn't hang on to all of the old ones. And um, yeah, other than that, I will see you all on Friday for our stream. It'll be at uh, probably about the time this one started, I'm not sure how long it's going to run. Uh, but we will do that one, and I haven't decided which project we'll be working on. So it'll either be this one, or it'll be the Dev Chatter Bot. Uh, but either way, I hope you're all having a great day. And uh, if you want to find out what the music is we've had playing in the background the whole time, there are there's information links to it down below, and I believe it's also on the end stream screen. So you should be able to catch it there. And uh, yeah, thank you everyone, and I will see you in a few days.